wrong. You look very upset. I just got my exam result. I only scored six. I need seven to get a job as a tour guide. I'm sorry to hear that. That's too bad, Hun. But it's not the end of the world. You can take the exam again, right? Yes, but I have a Skype interview tomorrow with the tour company in Korea. Maybe I should cancel it. What do you think I should do? I think you should have the interview. It's already planned. You've nothing to lose by doing it. I disagree. Why don't you wait and take the exam again? Then you can be more confident about giving a good impression. I don't know if I will get another chance for an interview. I was lucky to get this one. You're right, Hun. I suggest you have the interview and hope for the best. Have you told the tour company you only scored six? No, not yet. Do you think I should? Yes, Hun. It's best to be honest. They will like that. Have they asked you about the score? No, but they told me I need to score seven before I can start the job. Then you shouldn't tell them the score until they ask. Mike, that isn't honest. You should teach Hun to be honest. But Sandra, they haven't asked yet. Hun, how about having the interview and not telling them you only scored six until they ask you? What if they ask me at the beginning of the interview? I'll be so embarrassed. Listen to me, Hun. You will not achieve your goal without risks. You might be a little embarrassed. Is that really so important? Take my advice and have the interview. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Yes, I think you're right. I can only try my best. I'll go get ready for the interview. But Mike, if Hon fails, he's going to be so disappointed. Oh, Sandra, he's a young man. He needs to learn how to fail and then try again. Stop worrying. I can't stop worrying. If he's disappointed, we'll be here to cheer him up. Let's wait and see what happens tomorrow. <laughs>